Ever seen an F1 car suddenly hopping down the straight? That's porpoising, named after dolphins surfacing in waves. Here's what's happening under the floor. Modern F1 cars use ground effect aerodynamics. Air is sucked through Venturi tunnels beneath the chassis to create massive downforce. At high speed, the airflow attaches cleanly, pulling the car down. But at a critical ride height, the Venturi flow separates. The low pressure cushion collapses and the car springs back up on its suspension. As speed builds again, the airflow reattaches and the cycle repeats dozens of times per second. Drivers feel every bounce, up to 4G vertical loads, and it can slow lap times, unsettle the car's balance, and even risk chassis damage. Engineers combat porpoising by raising ride height or softening the suspension to delay stall, tweaking floor stiffness and adding fences to control airflow, fine-tuning diffuser geometry to broaden the attachment window. In short, porpoising is a high-speed tug-of-war between downforce and airflow stall. Want more F1 tech deep dives? Follow for your next lap of insights.